What's going on, everybody? Just got in from the show. Um, I was trying to go two shows today. Long story short, went to the first show and never left because there were so many new dealers at this show that I've never seen before. I just had more... I guess you could say, I don't want to say more fun, but it was um, definitely more of an adventure going through and talking to a lot of people. Met a lot of great dealers while I was there. Um, and you guys will see from the footage, there was some nice cards there. And I did ask everybody if I could uh, normally uh, take some video footage of their stuff. And I did get one person's information. The rest of them, you know, didn't have anything there or they were really busy and stuff. But a lot of them will probably be at the next show next month. So if there's something you see you want, just let me know if it's there next time. That way we can exchange numbers or something through the email. That way it's there you guys can pay for it and I'll ship it out to you and stuff like that. But a uh, very, very good show. I was actually impressed. I mean, they had a good bit of people in there. The There was a lot of different cards. And I'm not a person that usually goes through and buys a lot. And I really did. I will say the majority of the stuff was newer. There wasn't a whole lot of vintage. Really no NASCAR or F1 was in there. I'm trying to think. I did see one Jordan rookie in somebody's case. I think it was like a 7. Did see some LeBron autos, um, Kobe autos. It, it, it was really good. And I mean, trout stuff galore, as you guys can see. Well, I'm going to stop jibber-jabber, and I'm going to go ahead cut to I don't know how long all the videos cut together is going to be so you guys can just take a look at what I see at the show today and then I'm going to come back and I'll show you guys what I picked up see you guys in a few
All right, all right, we're back. So like I said, some really nice stuff. Really nice stuff there. There wasn't a whole lot of bargain bin boxes. And when there were, there was just stacks of people there. So I just started pushing through and making my way through. So I'm going to go through some of this stuff. Some of the stuff I've picked up earlier this week. But like this here, this will end up going in the store. This was something I picked up earlier in the week. This was not from the show. Rizzo's... Um, Sterling rookie, min gem. Some people are big on centering, so 10 on centering, but pretty cool for a pickup. All right, I'll tell you guys if some of this stuff might not have been show, but I, for majority it was. Keith the Chuck, sign of the times. I'm going to start making a hockey section. It's probably just going to be hockey all type deal, just because I don't really sell a lot of hockey. So be on the lookout for stuff like this. And this was all in somebody's. Uh, Bargain Ben boxes, I guess you could say offhand. Let me get back up. Air Command, second year, Mahomes. This is just really a cool card. Really, really cool. Garnett Rookie from Skybox. I believe it's a Skybox Premium they called this from this year. This is hard to see. Oh, you guys got a better look than me. Jerry Rice Hologram. Now this here I would never grade. You'd have to really clean this because of the holograms. This was, was it... Yep, 95, 95. So, figure somebody might be a rice collector and want one. Steve Nash, Fleer Metal rookie, freshman or fresh foundation. I believe this is his rookie now. Maybe I'm off. Should be though, offhand. Can't remember now. But I picked it up. It looked pretty good. I know some people like Steve Nash. Another Garnett Fleer um, rookie rewind. Tua, playoff clear. Josh Allen on campus. This is from draft this year. It will not gem mint. There's like a little chrome thing up in here. Um, but I'll put it in the store in case anybody wants it. Those just look... I like these. These are just like the downtowns. Very, very nice. Er, Alright, there we go. Focus. Pretty nice looking though. Alright. All the Bowman Chrome was not picked up at the show, just so you guys know. Just go in the store in case anybody wants this stuff. And it will already be in there by the time this video camp comes out on Monday. Santana, first Bowman, Garcia, Rondon, Fernandez Purple, Tristan McKenzie, rookie card auto, Kevin Made first, Rosario first, Moreno Speckle first, Celestino. Atomic. That's all going in the store, everything that I just showed you guys. So I'll get that put in. Might be some other stuff. This is stuff that I picked up that is going to be going out for grading. This Polanco, I don't know why, just something looks different about the card. And the last time I said something like that, it was Juan Soto, and his stuff is through the roof. So no idea why, but I'm going to grade it. Aguilar, and as you guys know, Bowman Chrome has a lot of issues. Uh, shimmer Ramos. I mean, it's gold. It is a shimmer. Might as well grade it. You guys can see some Crosby stuff from Metal. This here was actually out of a break. Malkin. Is that numbered? Nope. Crosby Metal. Another Crosby. Malkin Metal. Alright, this is all show stuff here. Promise. Now we're in the show. Two more Jordans. Metals. They look pretty good overall. Figure eventually we'll go with the Jordans. I'm a big person on the blues. Now, this is Lamar Jackson from this year's Prism. Blue Disco. Little bit hairy off-centered. It's out of 79. Back looked pretty clean on to it. So, I mean, for what it was selling for, I figured I'd take a chance at it. I mean, what is this considered? Like it's third, fourth year now, something like that. Mm. Thought I was going to sneeze, guys. Thought I was going to sneeze. Still feel it, though. All right, Upper Deck Draft Edition. Harden and Curry. These have been selling around $100 raw. I think this has a chance at least a good 9 on to it, so probably set it off to be graded. This here is Dwayne Wade, um, a top's finest rookie. They considered this to be like an XRC or something of them. 
There was a little bit of white down here that I did see, but I'm going to shoot it through, maybe back it, and see if I can at least 9.5 it. This boy, I had a debate on it. That's on, not on the card, I don't think. No, it's on my case. I thought so. I saw a little mark there. I'm like, that's not on there. Gold Jacob Eason. Prism Black. Numbered out of 10. <laughs> I was talking to a guy and somebody else could have walked it up. Had a lower offer and I just handed him the money. If this guy starts and does anything, this will be a nice card to have. Especially gold out of 10. I'm guessing when I look this over... I'll probably go for PSA, even though I know it would 9, but I may long run it and try to back it. I I'm really going to have to think about it. Curry, prestige rookie, in really, really good shape. Good chance that 10, I believe a 10 on these went for 500 ish. So, 9's get a like, uh, I want to say it's like 150 ish or something onto them. So, good pickup. Kobe found one. Price was very, very cheap. Couldn't really figure out why. I mean, even if it eats, it's still worth some good money. But said, why not? Finally, something you don't see a lot of. Now, I did find one at grade a 7 with a 10 on the auto sold for $450. I paid way, 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 way under that. Way under. There was a good deal made. Um, let me see if I can get focus a little better. Here we go. These I don't see come up very often. They're not numbered at all. Even if this would 9 or an 8, I'd be very impressed with it. Um, I want to say it was 90... Well, I can't even see that. I think it's 97. If I recall right, or 98. But it's on card. I mean, something that old, it comes back with a vid <laughs> 9. So I'd be like, wow. With, I'm probably going to grade the auto on this. I'm pretty confident on to it. But I, this is a beautiful card. Beautiful. Alright, those were the, all the rest of the show pickups. I'll just show you guys some other stuff that came in. This was out of Com C. I have that Upper Deck E pack. I forgot I had this stuff. Um, Young Gun. Is it Nylander? Nylander? I don't know how they say it anymore. Crosby. Um, Chick Run Young Gun Canvas. That's probably an easy Becca 10. McDavid to Canvas. Crosby Portraits. Shining Stars Crosby. This will go in the store. Oops. Coronado. I had a jersey card of Crosby in there. Um, Stefan exclusives. That'll probably be a store item. Then the Matthews checklist. I don't really decide what I'm going to do with a lot of those yet. This was my other pickup. I forgot how big these are. This is the Giants. Um, Tops Giants. Mickey Mantle PSA 6. Guys, if anybody knows where I could get the sleeves for the Giants, please leave me a comment. Email me. I've been looking, I just cannot figure where, if there's a sleeve to put over this. I was thinking maybe one of the booklet sleeves or bags would work to go over top of it, but I've always wanted one of these and I picked it up. Um, really nice looking overall. Really nice. But that's pretty much it. Fair, I'd give you guys everything that I picked up through the week plus the show stuff. Like I said, the show stuff was definitely there. Um, got some really, really good deals. And I figured, what the heck, if stuff comes back nines onto it, it is what it is, you know. You know, it gives it a little bit more value than the raw. And we'll just look at it down the road onto where it goes from there. Who knows, maybe I could sneak a 10 through, you never know. Maybe, maybe one, maybe two. But, that's pretty much it. Appreciate everybody for watching the videos. Um, there was still there no Lexington because I'd even make it there. I left there and literally drove down, picked the pizza up and came home and starting to get some video stuff done and getting stuff cased up to where it's going to be, end up going to. 
All right, guys. Take care of a good week, and I'll catch you all next video.